Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to solve this given rational equation a plus 2 times a plus 3 times a plus 4 times a plus 5 all over a minus 2 times a minus 3 times a minus 4 times a minus 5 equals to 1 and eventually we are going to check our solutions as well and moreover our a is a real number. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on the left hand side of this equation. We are going to tweak it and I am going to rearrange these terms. I'm going to put uh, this a plus 2 and this uh, a plus 5 together and this a plus 3 and a plus uh, 4 together as well. And likewise in the denominator I'm going to put this a minus 2 and a minus 5 together and likewise a minus 3 and a minus 4 together as well. As you can see in this uh, next step I have put together this uh, a plus 2 and a a plus 5 together likewise a plus 3 and a plus 4 together and likewise in the denominator as well and now here's our next step let's focus on these first two terms over here and here I have copied them down let's go ahead and multiply them out in other words we are going to do the double distribution so therefore we are going to get a square plus 5a plus 2a plus 2 times 5 is 10. If we combine these like terms we are going to get a square plus 7a plus 10. And now let's focus on next two terms a plus 3 and a plus 4. And here I have copied them down as well. Let's go ahead and multiply them out as well by using the double distribution so that is going to give us a square plus 4a plus 3a plus 12. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms so it's going to give us a square plus 7a plus 12. And now let's focus on the denominator this part a minus 2 times a minus 5 and here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and multiply them out as well by using double distribution. So that is going to give us uh, a square minus uh, 5a minus 2a plus uh, 10. If we combine the like terms it's going to give us a square minus uh, 7a plus uh, 10. And now let's focus on these next two factors uh, a minus 3 and a minus 4. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and multiply them out as well. So therefore our this equation the left hand side is going to become I'm going to replace these two by this one. So let me write down a square plus 7a plus 10 and then times these two. I'm going to replace it by this one which is a square plus 7a plus 12 all over. Now we are going to replace these two by this one which is a square minus 7a plus 10 times I'm going to replace this one by this which is a square minus 7a plus 12 equals to 1 on the right hand side. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, factor a square plus 7a plus 12. I can tweak this one. I can write this thing as a square plus 7a and I'm going to make this 12 as 10 plus 2 and likewise this uh, in the denominator this part I can write uh, a square minus 7a plus uh, 10 and then uh, plus uh, 2. As you can see in this uh, next step I have tweaked this part 
and this part. And now let, let's make an observation. We can see a square plus 7a plus 10 and a square plus 7a plus 10 as well. Let me go ahead and call this part as an x and this part as an x as well. So therefore I can write this x equal to a square plus 7a plus 10. And likewise in the denominator this part a square minus 7a plus 10 I am going to call this part y. Then this part a square minus 7a plus 10 is going to become y as well. So therefore I call this y equal to a square minus 7a plus 10. So therefore after the substitution this numerator is going to become simply x times this is part is going to become x plus 2 all over this is our y times y plus 2 equals to 1. And now let's go ahead and distribute this one. So that's going to give us x square plus 2x divided by likewise we are going to distribute this one as well. So that's going to give us y square plus 2y equals to 1 on the right hand side. Let me go ahead and make this right hand side fraction by just putting 1 underneath. Now let's go ahead and cross multiply. So we are going to get uh, x square plus uh, 2x equals to y square plus uh, 2y. Let's go ahead and move everything uh, on the left hand side. So, and now let's recall this famous identity a square minus b square. We are going to apply over here. So that's going to give us x minus y times x plus y. And here we can see 2 is in common. So I can factor 2 outside. So I'm going to get x minus y equal to 0 on the right hand side. And now we can see x minus y and x minus y is in common. So therefore we can factor out x minus y and then times x plus y plus 2 equal to 0. And now we got these two factors equal to 0. We can separate them. I can write x minus y equal to 0 and the second factor x plus uh, y plus 2 equal to 0. And now in this first equation let's move this uh, y on the other side. So we are going to get x equal to y. We know our x value is uh, this one and y is uh, this one. Let me go ahead and substitute it back. So x I'm going to replace it by a square plus 7a plus 10 equals to y in our case is a square minus 7a plus 10. And here we can see a square and a square is gone. 10 and this 10 is gone as well. So therefore we are ended up with 7a equal to negative 7a. Let's move this on the other side that means 14 a equal to 0 means our a value turns out to be simply 0 and that's one of our solutions. And now let's focus on this our second equation. We know x equal to this one and y equal to this one as well. So I'm going to substitute it back x I'm going to replace it by a square plus 7a plus 10 plus y I'm going to replace it by a square minus 7a plus 10 and then plus 2 equal to 0 and I can see 7a and this minus 7a they are gone. Let's combine the like terms we are going to get 2a square plus 
22 equal to 0. Let's go ahead and move uh, this uh, 22 on the other side. Let's divide both sides by 2. So we are going to get a square equal to negative 11. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides and we can see we undo this one. So we got a equals to square root of 11 times i where i is our imaginary number and it's always equal to square root of uh, negative 1. And we can see that this is not our uh, real solution. So therefore we are going to reject this solution and our only solution turns out to be a equal to 0. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and check our solution for a equal to 0 by replacing uh, each and every a by 0 all the way and see if the left hand side is indeed equal to the right hand side. As you can see in this uh, next step where I replace each and every a by 0 and if we simplify the left hand side we can see 120 divided by 120 is simply 1. So that means 1 is indeed equal to 1. So therefore we can see that this is our true statement. So therefore we conclude that a equal to 0 is indeed our valid solution. So thus our solution turns out to be a equal to 0. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.